Okay, so a quick show round um, Canva and how to put your dollies together. So I'm on the home page of Canva. And so here you can see the different types of designs you can create. Um, so you've got the for you section, which then has some options below here. If I scroll on, it's got a docs section. It's got whiteboards, presentations, social media. So it's got the popular ones here for you. Um, you can click on Instagram if it's something Instagram specific or Facebook if it's Facebook specific. Uh, and if you scroll down, you can see the Instagram ones here, the Facebook ones here, LinkedIn there. And there's some templates that you can use as well. Uh, videos, print products, websites, um, or you can just search. So I'm going to just search for A4. And so you can see um, some templates, you can see some projects um, that you've worked on previously. And um, so I'm going to go just keep it on templates and just press enter for A4. And then if I scroll down, so it's given me a lot of designs almost ready done that I can edit should I want to. So if I'm making a calendar, for example, or a monthly planner, I could use that. Um, but I'm just going to create blank. So I just click that. And that is opening my page for me. OK, so again, my templates have come through. And um, so if there were something specific that you were looking for, you could search, say you wanted a calendar, monthly calendar, and then you could just click that to insert it. OK, and then you can edit it from there. So that is on design at the top. Let's just go back. OK, you have elements. So from here, you can add some different lines some different shapes. Should you wish to some stickers? There are some photos built in. There are some videos, charts, you name it, anything. The frames are quite good. If you had a photo, you can then drop a photo into the frame to make the photo that shape. Um, you can scroll through and have a look. If you are looking to add any text, it's the text um, tab that you want. So you can add a text box, start typing. OK, and you can see that here. And then if I highlight it, I can change my font. So there are a lot of fonts um, in here already. If they have a crown next to them, it's because they're for Canva Pro users. So if you pay your subscription each month, then you have access to those. If not, it's the ones that don't have the crown next to them. Um, you can change textiles as well. You can change your text size so you can increase or decrease, or you can just type in the box the size that you would like. You can change the text color here. So it's got your document colors. And um, because I'm a pro user, it has um, a palette based around my brand. So I can easily find my brand colors within there. Um, equally, there are some solid colors here, or you can search, or if it's a specific color, you can get the hex code for it and type it in here and it will find it for you. Um, bold, italic, whether you want the alignment centered or to the left or justified. Bullet points. Um, here is the spacing between the lines and different effects that you can have on your text here. OK, and then here, just clicking on the three dots here, you can use underline, uppercase, lowercase. You can position your text. So this comes over here. So if I want it right in the middle of my page, I can click middle. If I want it to the left, I click left and it will move it. If I want it a certain size or in a certain position, I can do that 
down here. And then to get rid of it, I will just delete it. So that's a quick overview of text. There are some um, that are built in here and there are some font combinations that you can use mainly if you're a pro user, um, but there are some that you can use if you're not. Um, brand Hub is for uh, pro users, so it's templates um, related to your brand. Uploads is where you are going to want to be. So to put your dollies together, we need our files in here already. So I have one here. You're going to click on Upload Files. and then go to where they are saved. So here are mine here. So if I click on bodies, say I want this body. So you can see it here, it's just loading, it's just popping it in and then I can click it and in it goes. And then upload files again. I'm gonna come out of bodies, I'm gonna go back a level and I want long straight hair. So I'm gonna click there and I want it orange. So I'm going to click there. It's loading into my um, Canva here. So then I just click it and on it goes. I then want Where is my handbags? I think they're in here. Yeah, so there you go. I want a beach bag as well. So that's uploading. And so I want that one there as well. And so from there, I can edit things, I can animate them, I can position them. So I want to select everything. So if I just click up here, and come down okay and I'm going to position everything in the middle and everything in the center and then it all lines up nicely for you and you can group it so that it all stays together as one should you want to you can resize it by dragging on the corners here and it tells you the size that you are resizing to so that you can get it um, to the exact size that you want or you can come down here and type in the exact size that you would like as well and then when you're happy with it you can save it you just type up here just type what you'd like to save it as and then it's share because you can't print directly from Canva so share and download and you are going to want to download it as a PNG or a JPEG. So a PNG uh, means there is no background unless there's a background um, on the images already um, or a JPEG means it will have a solid background and from there you will be able to print. Um, if you are using them for sublimation you will need to run them through another um, another software in order to apply your ICC code to get your colours correct um, or you can have a go at just printing them straight away and see how your colours turn out but nine times out of ten you do need to apply an ICC code to get the colours as they should be um, but I hope that helps to get you to this point at least.